Yeah. That's some interesting tile. I don't know what that it's is. It's wallpaper. Oh, girl, that's pretty. That looks just like tile. I need to get some of that. Thank you. I'm at David's house. <laughs> How's he doing? You guys are good maintaining throughout yeah, this? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Figuring it out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure where you're located, but are things getting kind of back to normal? You see? No, not at all. We are downtown LA. And uh, <laughs> no, we're still in the house. In the house board. <laughs> Hey, well, yeah, we here in Illinois, we're kind of on lockdown for like another week. We're going to go into our phase three after next, meaning, you know, some stuff will start opening. Then we got phase four, then we got phase five, then hopefully after phase five, we'll be all good. But you yeah. look good, Tamar. Thank you. Takes one to know one. Touche, darling. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. So let's talk about this show, girl. I was just talking to uh, my listeners here. You see this hair, right? I have sure. an like um two and a half months now and i really need my hair done but... it looks kind of good though i couldn't oh. tell that okay thank you but see i'm used to sitting in the chair like every week and i haven't yeah. been in, the chair in like nine weeks so yeah no problem right now i need to get yeah. my hair but um anyway let's talk about this new series you're in i'm so excited to catch a beautician. Oh my God, I'm so excited too. I promise you it's the best show on television. Everybody knows I'm very, very honest and upfront. And I'm not saying it because I'm on the show. Uh -huh. I'm saying it because it's a fact. Um, you know, I, I just think that um, it's been too long that um, we haven't been able to have a voice. One, from a stylist standpoint, two from the person that sits in the chair every single week. And sometimes, you know, we don't get out the chair <laughs> the way that we expect to, right? So, right. Um, you know, we just basically listening to the client's story. And I'm always sympathetic because my hair's most of the time been a hot mess. And I've had my whole horror stories <laughs> about, you know, how jacked up, you know, somebody left me. Uh -huh. And, you know, uh, we talk to the stylist and we get to the bottom of it. Now, I'm just going to be honest, the stylist don't know I'm there <gasps> initially. Oh. No, they don't know I'm there, honey. Oh, my goodness. No, they don't know I'm there initially. <laughs> Uh-oh. Initially. Okay. Yes. And um, so, you know, the stylist gives their point of view on what happened. It ain't always the same way as the clients. Okay. <laughs> and so Johnny gives them the opportunity to go through a boot camp. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny's also from, Johnny Wright, he's also from, from Chicago as well. <laughs> I do my hair. He's really? Like Yes, I love Johnny. He was my stylist for like five years. And when I tell you that boy can do some hair, he can do some hair. Yes, he is. He's amazing. Yes. Amazing. What's the fact for him? In the oh, whole he's great. You know, he's a whole kiki like me, but he just packaged differently. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just a little bit more louder with mine, but he's, he's amazing. Um, but he's also so talented and so inspiring and educational yeah. because, you know, um, He's talented in his craft, but he knows everything about hair and hair yeah. care. You yeah. know, in some situations where the client is talking to us, he's breaking it down for us. Like, oh, this is what happened chemically. He's, he's amazing. He's amazing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that he can really style hair very yeah. Any kind. His grandmother, rest her soul, she did hair up until she was like 91 years old. Yeah, he told me that. It's amazing. That's that story once and I was so inspired by that and he says watching her over the years is what inspired him to get into the game but uh, we all know one of his clients is the first lady Michelle Obama yeah yeah yep. amazing. So, the premise though you go to a salon you get your hair done that hairstylist does crazy okay let me just break it down for you let me break it down oh, for you okay. so it's like cheetahs meets botched meat to catch a predator Oh, <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay. So the client comes to us in this situation on Monday. To us in this situation on Monday, her name is Taylor Coco. She comes to us um, because her stylist Keisha did her weave and she did it way too tight. You know what I'm saying? And we have all been in that situation. Yeah. I know I have. Like, and she did it so tight to a point, like she looked like she had a hole in her head. Ooh. And I, yeah. 
I feel like I've been there a few times too when my weave is just way too tight and uh -huh. the braid is feel like you playing tug of war. She played tug of war with the braid or whatever. And um, you know, she's like emotionally distraught about it because she can't go nowhere. She going to she going going around town with a scarf on her head, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, she can't curly because it's too tight, it's too much tension. Yeah, and so she her sides are thinning from it being rubbed on and you know, just the tension from the, the weave. And so we find Keisha. Keisha comes in, which is her stylist, to Ooh. have a conversation with um, Johnny mm. and um, for what she thinks is an opportunity to work with him. But it is an opportunity. Um, the reason why I say she thinks because she doesn't know about me. So I come out, <laughs> I come out with Taylor Coco and I'm like, who? We got some questions. What happened? And so, you know, the stylists get their side of the story and it's never the, the same, of course. And they get a chance to go to Johnny Wright boot camp and redeem themselves. So he's so nice. For everybody. Johnny is the fixer. Well, no, we both are the fixer. Because, Got you know, usually when a stylist jacks up your hair, we don't have the confidence to tell our stylist or a stylist, you jack me up. You know, we don't feel backed up. We don't feel supported. We definitely don't feel heard. And so in this situation, we hear them. You know, we let them know we hear them. And then we help them. Yeah. OK, cool. Yeah. I'm excited to watch it. It looks funny. I saw a trailer for it. I was cracking up. Yeah. Very, very relatable, especially to a lot of us right now who want to get back in that chair. Yes. So that airs on Monday, Memorial Day, at yes. 9 Eastern. Can't wait yes. to watch VH1. Yes, and also get your binge worthy on because there's two episodes. Oh, back to back. Yes, on Monday. Oh. I'm really excited about it. And then afterwards, I'm going to jump on VH1's um, after party, but then I, we're going to have a Tay Martian after party on my YouTube page. Okay. okay. After all of that, and for all of my ladies and gents who don't have no edges, see my edges, mind the back, stop praying for me. I'm praying for you. I got you. I got you. And I got your back. <laughs> Come meet me there and watch how the Lord bless you, Pooh. Definitely. <laughs> Before I let you go, let's talk music real quick. Your new single, Crazy yeah. Love. I love, love, love. First of all, you're the bomb. Your voice is everything. Thank like, you. You're I love the song, especially because it takes um, the sample from one of my favorite artists, Whitney Houston, Saving All the Love for You. Yeah. Oh, talk about the music. You said that this song made you fall in love with music again. It did because I, after, you know, Vince and I broke up, I definitely wasn't here for no type of music, you know, because of the association was just too deep. Like, we worked together, we did music together, like, it, it was just seemed too much for me gotcha. and um emotionally I just wasn't in that place I didn't want to write I didn't want to sing you know I wanted to do live shows because I get a, a chance to you know see my fans and that's a whole different kind of thing than sitting in the studio dealing with your emotions <laughs> and feelings um but I did this movie last summer called True to the Game 2 and the producer Manny was like yo you got to come you know bless the soundtrack sis you got to come bless the soundtrack and I'm like Mm, I don't do that no more. <laughs> and uh, my pub, my publisher, uh, Wardell, he took me out to dinner one day and on the way back to our house here, me and David's house, um, he played me this song. I fell in love with the song instantly and fell in love with music at the same time. Good, good, good. So you're back and we're going to get a nice album. and tour. Yes, getting all that. Perfect. Well, Tamar, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, make sure Chicago and everybody that you catch to catch a beautician this Monday on VH1. Two episodes back to back starring the beautiful Tamar Braxton. It's and popping. Don't miss that, Blue. I'm telling you, Braxton. it's your whole life. It's amazing. It's the best thing on TV. It's not this. Everything. Period. <laughs> Yeah, Tamar, you look gorgeous. Thank you again for your time. And uh, I'll be watching on Monday. Yes. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.